Hello, my name is Morgan. I am a PhD student and I love reading, which is why I'm here on BookTube. Today, I wanted to show you how I annotate what I'm reading and how I track what I'm reading. And this has up been updated a bit for me for 2022, so I'm excited to share this process with you. In this video, I will go over how I annotate and track my fiction and nonfiction reads, and I will leave my academic process for another video because it's a little more in depth. So I'm going to break this video up into three parts. First is going to be annotating while I'm reading. Second is going to be how I track what I've read. And then third is going to be kind of back to annotating because I have a process where I take what I tabbed in my books and I type out those notes into a software, which I will show you a little bit later on. So here's a fiction book that I read, for instance, Kafka on the Shore by Haruki Murakami. And I haven't taken the tabs out of it yet. So you can still see that I, I tabbed it up while reading. And that's what I'll do while reading. While reading, I will, if I see something that I think that I might use later, uh, for instance, if I'm writing a blog post and I want to reference something from Kafka on the Shore, so I need to make a note that that happened in this book so I don't forget, I'll tab that. Or if I see something that is like integral to my understanding of the book that I'm reading, I will tab that. If I see something that like just makes me super excited or I laugh super hard or, you know, I, I really, really like, I'll tab that. And that's about it. So you can see there's not that many tabs in this book. I don't go through yet so far in my reading journey and tab like every single time something happens. I know sometimes people are like, oh, that was romance. Oh, that was adventure. Oh, that was a plot twist. And they'll tab every single thing that happens in the book. I don't do that. I haven't needed to do that yet. Maybe if I get into writing fiction, I'll start documenting that. So far, all I write is nonfiction and academic style stuff. So I tag what I might use in nonfiction writing and then also just what I need to know to remember things about this book so that I can talk about it on booktube or to my friends or recommend this book in the future. Nonfiction, so this is a memoir for instance, uh, is very much the same. I tend to tab a little bit more because it's more likely that I'm going to write about something from a nonfiction in another nonfiction text. So again, this is things that I might want to use when I am writing my own pieces later. And I need to have kind of a wide scope for that because like, I don't know what I'm going to be writing about for the rest of my life. So better to remember that it was said in a book than not remember at all. Same thing. I'll go through and tab. So now let's go into the software that I use to track my reading and keep track of the notes that I've made during my reading. This software is called Obsidian and it's available for free. Search Obsidian software into Google and you'll find it. So up on the screen now is my Obsidian and this is my page for books in 2022. So I'm tracking my reading yearly. At the top we've got pages read and I'm updating the number of pages I've read after every book that I finish. Then we've got my ratings which I'm also updating after every book that I finish. So no five star reads yet, 2022, <laughs> better get there. Uh, but so far I have one three star read and one two star read. And then we actually have the books read list. So I'm starting with the star rating and then the title, the author, and then some details about the book. So I listened to this on audio, so I'm going to have that information, how I consumed the book at the end of the year, um, the number of hours that it was, but also the corresponding number of pages so that I can track the pages I'm reading and when I finished reading that book. And then I've got a little link here and that links within Obsidian. So I'm actually gonna click on the Murakami link here. Every single book that I read this year, I want to have a link to another page within my Obsidian folder that I can link to the description or thoughts about the book that I had, my summary, my overall thoughts, a little paragraph, and then also any any quotes uh, or ideas from the book that I highlighted while reading it. So I didn't highlight that many quotes, but you can see there's a couple here. So I just go and I like type out the quotes that I found interesting or I wanted to remember into my obsidian in the page for Murakami. And I've got the citation up here. And then the super important part for my overall process, and I'll talk more about this when I make my academic note-taking video, I actually make links within the link for the book. So there was one idea in Murakami's book, for instance, that you should stop working when you're in the middle of something. So if I click on that, 
You'll see I've got a little note about what Murakami was saying. This is common wisdom from writers, and Murakami has also said this, and here's the quote. And then I backlink to Murakami. So then we're back into the Murakami note. And I want to do that for every single book that I read this year. For the most part, fiction ends up just being... I'll show you one that I did last year. Um, so this is what I wrote after reading The Library at Mount Char by Scott Hawkins. Um, I still have the citation up at the top, but then this one is just a summary of the book. There's no internal links. There wasn't anything that I needed to save that was like a little external note that might link to other ideas in the rest of my Obsidian folder. So this one's just a summary of the book after reading so that I can remember it for later. So all of my tracking happens in this book's 2022 um, file here. And then all of my annotations get transcribed into one of these links within that document. And then down at the bottom, I just have books that I want to read. Um, not necessarily this year, just overall, so that I don't have to rely on Goodreads or Storygraph to remember which books I need to read next. If there are a lot of tabs in my book or I'm away from my desk when I want to turn these into notes to go into my obsidian, then I will take a, a little deck of cue cards and I've got a ton sitting actually all over my house, but also at my computer desk. I'll just take one of these and any old pen and I will go through the book uh, on each page and I will write down the note that I want to make about that sticky and then I'll take the sticky out. So at the end of the day, I have a permanent documentation uh, easily organized and accessible in on my computer, on my desktop of everything I've ever read and all of my thoughts about it. And then I can keep my books nice and tidy and clean over time. I just take out these sticky tabs once I've put the note into my permanent notes on my computer because what I used to do, and I'll talk about this more when I talk about my academic note-taking, was like all sorts of underlines and highlights and especially in academic books when I read it more than once, like it started to get so messy. I couldn't even understand what was going on with all of these highlights anymore. Uh, so I decided I'm just going to keep my books nice and clean and they're going to be pretty. I can lend them to anybody. I'm not on one side or the other of like making your book messy. I see both sides. I like the idea of sharing my thoughts within a book and making this book a unique artifact of my thinking alongside it and collaboration between me and the book. But I like more being able to remember the notes that I'm making and my collaboration with my Obsidian folder is much better at keeping those thoughts organized. So that is how I annotate and I take notes on and I track all of my reading of fiction and nonfiction and all the books that I'm going to be talking to you about here on booktube this year. So I I hope you enjoyed that, getting a little insight into my reading process. Let me know what you do for your annotating and your tracking of your reading, if it's different than just Goodreads, because I would love to hear. I'm so fascinated by organizational systems that we use to manage our knowledge. Super into it. So let me know in the comments and I'll see you in another video. Thanks for watching.